Hello, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back if you're one of my subscribers. I'm Robin from This Blog's Neat and I feel like I've been working nonstop over the last few days trying to put together all of these whiskey advent calendars that I put together every year. And because of that, I could really use a drink right now. And what I'm going to have today is something that is decadent, it is friendly, it is cozy. That's what I'm going for right now. Um, this is also a pretty special whiskey because it's a travel retail exclusive. You probably recognize the bottle shape. This is the Bulvaney and this is their Madeira cask, 15 year old. I picked this up while I was in Ireland with my family back in, I believe it was March, the end of March, early April. And we just happened to be at a bar and we're looking at the selections that they had, all the whiskeys that they had and everything. And I recognize this one. Actually, I was with Jerry. I think he was the one who uh, pointed this one out and said, what is that one? And I was like, I have never tried that. Um, that bottle of the Bulvaney. So he ordered a pour, it was delightful. And yeah, luckily duty free as we were leaving, had plenty to take home with us. So we grabbed a bottle and I'm very happy we did because I didn't realize at the time that this is a retail, travel retail only bottle, which means that you can't get it outside of essentially duty free, right? You can't get it outside of airports and everything. And it is really, really delicious. And may or may not be one of the whiskeys that are in one of the whiskey advent calendars. But because I've been so busy putting together these whiskey advent calendars and things like that, I feel like I haven't posted a YouTube video in a while. So I also wanted to come on here and talk to you guys. <laughs> Uh, we'll see if this is an edited video or perhaps it'll be a raw uncut video inspired by Scott from Different Spirits. Um, so I'm not only here to talk about the Bulvaney and what I'm drinking, but I will probably end up giving you tasting notes as I sip through this. Um, but I went to Total Wines yesterday I don't know if everyone who's viewing this has access to a Total Wines. They're just a huge, huge, huge retailer for wines and spirits, huge retailer. And it's the first time I've been in a while. I usually like to support other liquor stores, maybe more like liquor stores that give me like a mom and pop feel. I really like to support k &L here in LA, but I went into Total Wines because I was nearby it and needed to pick up a bottle for the whiskey advent calendars that I was putting together. And of course, you can't go in, just grab your thing and leave, right? I wanted to browse, obviously, see what they had available, if there was anything that kind of caught my eye. And... It occurred to me, like this is, I've definitely noticed this before, but it really, really hit home yesterday while I was looking at just the bourbons, right? There are so many brands, so many bottles of just one type of spirit. There are so many, like there has to be thousands of brands of whiskey that are at Total Wines. I don't know, it might be overestimating, but it feels like there's millions. It is overwhelming. And I feel, not to toot my own horn, but I feel well equipped to navigate that arena, right? I feel like I can go in, I can look at a bottle and I can understand where it came from, what it was made of, how long it was aged, and what I think it's going to taste like once I have it in my glass based on years and years of research and being in the industry and tasting a whole bunch of whiskeys, right? But I don't know how the normal consumer does it. 
I don't understand how you don't go in there and just get totally overwhelmed because I was totally overwhelmed. I, I approached the section just to browse, again, just to browse, not to buy. I did come home with some extra bottles, but just to browse. And like my eyes like bug out of my head and I take an audible exhale because I'm bracing for this browsing experience, which is going to be overwhelming. It's gonna be overstimulating. There's so much to read, so much to look at, so much to try to deduce from just the label. Yeah, overwhelming, overwhelming. So how do people do it? I don't know. Like, could you imagine going into the grocery store to buy, I don't know, butter. I needed butter the other day to buy butter and to have hundreds of different brands out there and then different variations of each brands, right? For bourbons, you have one type of label or you have one brand, right? One, one distillery is producing multiple different types of bourbons sometimes and they all have the same label, but slightly different and that's confusing. And then you have distilleries that are labeling their whiskeys differently that are all from the same distillery but now you can't tell like take heaven hill for example right they have they have uh elijah craig they also have evan williams also a bourbon and they're completely different labels they have rittenhouse rye they have pikesville both ryes produced by heaven hill but all, both different labels would you even know that those were produced all by heaven hill Right? I don't know. I don't know. Unless you do your research, right? Would the would the normal consumer who goes in there know that if you buy a bottle of Evan Williams or a bottle of Elijah Craig that they're produced by the same producer? Would you know that? I, I, I don't know. Would you know if you picked up a bottle of something that it's produced by MGP and a lot of other bottles that are around it, a lot of other brands are also produced by MGP, would you know if you didn't do that research? I don't think so. Often I have to look up bottles that I don't recognize to see, is this MGP? What distillery is this produced from? Is this a non-distiller producer? Is this a distiller? What's their mash bill? <laughs> so it's very overwhelming. Um, and yeah, it seems <laughs> like this video is kind of going nowhere. Um, but I, I, I did want to bring this up and, I don't know, kind of give you guys a little bit of hope that I think it is worth it to do that research. And I think if you're coming to my channel, you're probably someone who's a little bit more curious um, about spirits than the normal consumer. So you probably are doing that research and are understanding, you know, what all the different bottles on the wall are but it's still really really overwhelming so yeah i think do your research before you go into one or one of these liquor stores i think i think when you have like your own neighborhood bottle shop there's a lot of benefit that can come from that if you build a relationship with the buyer for that store with the owner for that store because you actually get to ask questions um, about the different spirits that they have available and based on what you've bought from them before or yeah, what you like, they can make suggestions. And I know that there are people who work at Total Wines that can also help you answer those questions. I have never had a conversation with them because anytime they come up to me and ask if I need any help, I very very grumpily say no thank you <laughs> and move on and do my own research uh, as I'm in the store right holding a bottle googling it looking up things about it so yeah it's worth it to do your research it's also worth it to find those small neighborhood bottle shops to make navigating the world of spirits a little bit easier like there are over 2,000 craft distilleries in the US. That's insane. That's a whole lot of spirits. And 
all of them are producing not just one bottle, right? Not just one type of spirit and one expression of it. If they're producing one spirit, they're producing a number of different expressions, right? Oh, this one's aged three years, five years, eight years. Or they're producing a vodka, a gin, a bourbon, a rye. So yeah, do your research, support your local distilleries as well. That can help narrow down your choices. Um, but yeah, let me, with all that being said, <laughs> my little rant uh, about how overwhelming Total Wines is and yeah, yeah, how it would be so much harder to make decisions at a grocery store if they had as many options for strawberries as they do options for bourbon at Total Wines. Hmm. Yeah, so this is, like I said, it's finished in Madeira casks. So it's aged for 15 years, I believe, and they call it traditional, uh, traditional casks, which to me means bourbon, mostly ex-bourbon barrels. Um, and yeah, American oak. Um, and then it's finished for some unknown amount of time in Madeira casks. And so yeah, smelling this, it reminds me reminds me of you know the Bulvaney it's giving me those fun like <sighs> apple juice with slices of orange in it but it's also giving me some spices and a little bit more red fruit yeah I'll just do quick tasting notes for for this video because you've already been sitting around listening to me talk for like 12 minutes Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is just what I was in the mood for. This is really nice. Um, just so cozy. I feel like cozy is the best way to describe it. It's got warm baking spices, but they're not super overpowering. It's a lot of cinnamon, and there's just like a little bit of a little bit of clove and nutmeg. But you're getting a lot of those kind of stewed appley notes and raisins and there's a fig newton thing in here and a little bit of like a nuttiness <sighs> i wasn't able to put my finger on the nuttiness but a, just a nice nuttiness and this is really delightful and i'm really happy we have a bottle and i'm really upset that we didn't take home you know three so i'm just gonna have to go back take another international trip maybe to ireland maybe to scotland that would be nice to get a bottle of this um yeah and with that i think this is going to be an unedited video and and yeah i want to say before i leave i want to say thank you so much to all of my patreons Thank you guys for helping to support the channel and for, yeah, listening to me give updates on all the experiments that I'm working on, etc. If you, the viewer, also enjoyed this video and would like to support the channel, you can give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, leave me some comments, definitely subscribe, and you could also join us over on Patreon and I would be really, really thankful. But yeah, let me know if you have tried this and how you think it compares to some of the other Bulvaney releases, or if you've had any other um, travel exclusive bottles that you think are super noteworthy.